very excited about this podcast. There's a new product that's coming out in body science very soon. And we have the guru on, Suzanne Lezer, and I hope I've said that right, is the Director of Nutrition Communication for Jolita. How are you? Hello, Greg. Well, I'm very well. Thank you. Nice to join you guys. And uh, let's see, we're going to have a great chat about collagen. I can tell you surely all about it. Perfect. (laughs) Let's rip in. Welcome to the Body Science Podcast. As always, the information contained in this podcast is for the information purposes only and is not designed to diagnose or be prescriptive to treat, prevent, or manage any injury, disease, or other health-related condition. Welcome to Body Science HQ, the world of fit, happy, and healthy. And what I want to add to the end of that this week, which I'm really excited about, is collagen. And I've got the guru on. How are you, Susan? I'm very well. Thank you, Greg. Nice to talk to you guys. And I'm looking forward to talking everything collagen today. Wonderful. Just before we start, do you want to tell people what your job role is so they understand who they're listening to and they can turn the volume up? Sure. I am Director of Nutrition Communication at Zelita. My background is fully sports nutrition. I've been in this area for 20 years now uh, through studies, through working for different companies, different uh, protein sources, different brands. So I've got a huge expertise in this area of sports nutrition and now mainly collagen with uh, Gelita. Gelita, we produce bioactive collagen peptides. We do lots of applications with collagen and sports nutrition is becoming really a number one for the collagen peptides. No, and can we just touch on that before we step into where where we're going? You mentioned bioactive peptides. Now, let's be honest, you search Google right now and there are thousands and thousands of collagen products that you can pick. Not many people are using the word bioactive peptide, so so no. what's the difference? Yes, not not all collagens are created equally. So what happens is when we produce collagen peptides, we are hydrolyzing collagen protein, and mostly collagen is hydrolyzed for a food application. So the great pro- uh, property of collagen in terms of application is to make like products taste better or have a nice texture and so on. However, there are ways that you can hydrolyze. Uh, produce the 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 collagen peptides in a way that they become functional as well. So we apply certain controls to the uh, production process, and that means controls such as enzymes, temperature, pH, where we can achieve uh, these precise bioactive functions. So th- these peptides, they usually they are a chain of amino acids. They are inactive in mm-hmm. this protein, but when we we cut it, when we hydrolyze at the right places in the right way, we can get the best functionality out of them. Okay. And when we achieve that through that process, we then class them as the bioactive uh, collagen peptides. But what I want to say is, it's not only a funky name, bioactive collagen peptides. There's a lot of testing behind it. Mm-hmm. So we we hydrolyze in the right way. We test it for the bioactivity uh, for the right cells of the connective tissue. And then we take that to human clinical trials. And all this process, we see a, a benefit in the end. And then this this product is a bioactive collagen peptide. Uh, but other collagens will be hydrolyzed or cut in a different way where you don't get rightly the precise functional um, sequence of collagen for the right benefit that you are looking for. And then that is a collagen peptide, is a hydrolyzed collagen, but it's not beneficial, it's not functional. Or at least, I mean, it's not to the level that you require to have really a significant effect. Mm -hmm. So should buyer beware when shopping online and look for branded products? And one thing Jolita has done exceptionally well is you really protect your branded products. And is that something that the buyer should be aware of? Because if you look at any collagen packaging these days, you'd think that you're going to be 20 years younger and be able to do high jump again. Like it's what they put on the front of labels is ridiculous. So how do we as consumers get our heads around the fact that, and and collagen is an expensive product. It's not something you buy for you know under twenty dollars anywhere really. It is a product that is um it's a very beneficial product, so it's worth every cent when it's uh you know when you look along the lines of the bioactive peptides, well worth every cent. But I jump on Google and pages and pages and pages and pages and pages of collagen. All of them have got pictures of knees and joints and skin and hair and nails on them. So how does how does the buyer get around the fact that they may be being ripped off or not getting value for money? They really need to look 
to the science behind these products. And the way we protect our science is when we use the, the brands, Verisol, Forte Gel, Tendo Forte. So these brands, you can ensure that there is a package of science behind these products. But when the collagen is generic, it's not branded, or it can even be branded, but ask for the science behind these products. I can tell you that today, Zelita is leading in this area, this research, and we are are the only very few of the main really to have a number of studies like more than one human clinical trial we have at least two most of our products will have six clinical trials in humans confirming the benefit and this is what the consumer needs to to look for what is the science behind that specific bioactive or collagen peptide in that product but when it's branded with the digelita brands i can assure you that we have the the human scientific study behind that and much more that we can talk about in detail. And look, that's one of the reasons we love after 21 years of making sports nutrition, we love the Jolita brand and what they stand for and, and the sub-brands of your brand. And, and one thing I do want to let people know out there that you don't give that away easily either. That's something you've got to work for from our side to get those logo uses as well. It's not something like you're not just in it for the sale, you're in it for the end consumer, which I love about your brand. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. For you to have an idea, our product Fortigel has got 30 years of research. We might have six clinical trials behind Fortigel uh, directly using that product, but the science, the, the product uses science that has been developed since 30 years ago when the concept started. Amazing. Since the beginning. And then we did a lot of studies, which today are studies with generic collagen peptides until we fine-tuned and found the best composition of peptides in that, that product with the hydrolysis and the controls to then achieve a fort gel. And then we take the six specific clinical trials. But in fact, that product has got like research I don't know how many studies, a number, huge number of studies, but dating from 30 years ago. So that's how the, since that, since that time that we have been evolving the science on the bioactive collagen peptides. So when we launch a new bioactive collagen peptides, which is the case of uh, Tendo Forte recently, it's only two years old, but actually it's backed up, has got a history of 30 years of research that led to the composition of that product now for tendons and ligaments. Okay. So the product where it brings Bringing out with you guys as our collagen partners is the Verisol Tenderfort Fortigel combination. So that's uh, five grams of the Tenderfort, which we currently do now, five grams of the Fortigel and two and a half of the Verisol. Do you want to explain to us why everything's not five grams? Like why is Verisol? And look, we, sure. in a second, we'll get into what each of those does so people understand, because I believe a lot of our consumers are going to want to hear more about Verisol between you and me. Yes. But mm -hmm. why is one five and one two and a half? Yes. First of all, Greg, I love the combination. That's good. Yes, because it's really right there in terms of the main connective tissues there are suffering more, let's say, especially in exercise. And because the skin is being exposed to a lot of the elements of the weather, sun, wind, and so forth. And the joints, the tendon and ligaments, they are suffering the wear and tear. So I, I love the combination. But now, now why five, why two and a half? Yes. Because when normally protein, collagen is a protein. So normally when we take protein, we are taking at least 15 grams, ideally 20 or 30, 35. Yeah. So these are relatively large amounts. But when we talk bioactive collagen peptides, we are taking the most bioactive, mostly functional part of that protein for their specific benefit. So you don't need to take the full amount. A smaller amount is already effective. Okay. And this is what we see in our those uh, those finding studies we we have done for different collagen peptides we we give people different doses and we see the evolution and where is there is no statistical uh, significant effect from one dose to another we establish the the smaller dose okay. as effective so people don't need to take too much 
And that, that test we have done with Verisol. Verisol and Fortigel are our first bioactive collagen peptides in the market. And we saw that sweet spot with um, Fortigel at 5 grams. Mm -hmm. We actually started the first studies with 10 grams for osteoarthritis. But osteoarthritis is more a, of an inflammatory disease. It's classed as a disease. Yes. But for physical activity and exercise, what we have is a functional joint pain. Uh, it's not to the level of a disease. It's just like a condition of the exercise, a wear and tear that we need to be careful that it doesn't become a disease. So we, we did then some studies with sports people using five grams and to see if that was effective or not. And we found uh, a significant effect. People were able to significantly reduce joint pain with only five grams. Nice. And so we established, we established five grams for, for the physically active functional joint pain uh, benefit. And for the Verisol, it was the same. We tested five grams because we had already this knowledge of this intelligence of, of the Fortigel being between five, between 10. And then we tested five and we tested two and a half and we found the effect with two and a half. Um, uh, that this is also informed by in vitro tests, mm -hmm. by tests that we do preclinically. And we also saw that two and a half, the, what could be equivalent to two and a half I mean, with, with a relatively small dose, we could get a significant effect. But what we want to do is to give the minimum effective dose possible because that helps people to use the product every day and be compliant because this is a long-term benefit. Yes, yeah, nice. So we've previously done a podcast on Tenderfort, so we might just touch on that for the people who haven't listened to that one really quickly. That's the one that's currently in the body science range. Um, we're talking about connective strength with Tenderfort. Um, yes. Do you want to just touch on that quickly? Because I do really want to rip into the Fortigel and Verisol because I'm really excited yeah. about where we're going with putting the three together. Yeah. The Tender Forte is a very special product. Uh, of course, as you said, <clears throat> we say connective, connective tissue strength. And by that, we mean tendon, ligaments, the, the functional connective tissue that is related to the biomechanics of exercise. And that even includes the muscle fascia as well. So all this is very much related to the performance of the muscle. Mm -hmm. So the muscle contracts, uh, sends this uh, force to the muscle fascia and every single muscle fiber is surrounded by a layer of muscle fascia, which is connective tissue. And this fascia sends the message, sends the force to tendons and ligaments. And the tendons and ligaments are transforming this um, muscle contraction, muscle force into movement effectively. Yes. So it's kind of the springs of the body, if you like. Yeah, okay, nice so there is a lot of force, a lot of strength, a lot of power, a lot of force actually is down to uh, the tendons and ligaments, not only muscles. So tendons and ligaments is one of the main things that impact muscle performance. Yes. And then, and hence we, and then this product looks after the turnover of this tissue. So the tendons and ligaments, they cannot be too flexible. They cannot be too stiff. Mm -hmm. They have to find a middle ground. And this is found by the constant turnover of this tissue. And this is what the bioactive collagen peptides, they do in general. They regulate the turnover and they keep this turnover going, which we now know turn the, the protein synthesis uh, or the protein turnover in these tissues, they are as high as in the muscle. But if you look into the detail with the tendons and ligaments, the, especially the, the tendons in particular, like a patella tendon, which is very much used in exercise, that use makes it even the, the, the turnover in this tendon is even higher than that of the muscle. Okay. So we need to keep that going. Otherwise, it gets hard, gets stiff. And then you, you suffer more wear and tear. And if you have a, a wear and tear or if you break that tendon, you, you have a huge problem. Yeah. It really takes people out of play. So that's the concept of this product. The, the bioactive collagen peptide there is designed, is found to have the best bioactivity possible for the tenocytes, ligamentocytes, which are the cells of the tendons and ligaments. Nice. Somebody um, actually knows what they're talking about there. That was great. 
Hey team, it's Greg here from Body Science. I'm really excited about this one. Advanced Athletic Beauty, yes you heard it, Beauty Collagen Ultra is about to hit the shelves. It's a three-in-one specific bioactive collagen peptide, probiotic, vitamin C formula for body, hair and skin. Now you might be thinking, who cares? It's just like every other collagen. No, it's not. We have Verisol at clinical levels. We have Tenderfort at clinical levels and we have Fortigel, the joint health revolution at clinical levels. And we've added in the heat stable lactospore to make sure that everybody has skin, hair, hair, nails, ligaments, tendons, joints, sport and beauty in one blend. Get on board. Look, before we get into the Verisol, the second collagen from your company is Fortigel and you talk about sustainable mobility with that product. Do you want to give us that great in-depth chat that you just gave us on Tenderfort for Fortigel? Yes, the Fortigel is dedicated for cartilage and the cells uh, in cartilage are the, the chondrocytes. They are also connective tissue cells and then the molecular weight profile of the fingerprint of the Fortigel as a, as a bioactive collagen peptide has a high affinity for the chondrocytes and and of course, the joints, I, I don't need to explain how important the, the cartilage, the joints are in exercise. They yes. are the cushions. They absorb all the shock. And when we exercise too much or when we overtrain and some people more, some people less, we have a wear and tear of that tissue, which is really high. So we damage it very easily because it's a spring. We are always impacting it. But And when we damage it, what the body wants to do is to get rid of that debris of, of the damage very quickly. They want to, the body just wants to get rid of that. And, they, and, and then the breakdown increases. And what the bioactive collagen peptide is doing is helping to increase that turnover at the same speed, speed that it's at least at the same speed or higher than the breakdown. So one of our first studies with uh, Fortigel, we've taken uh, an MRI and we could see the cartilage rebuilding uh, after damage. Is that right? And that was in the case of osteoarthritis. Yes. Yeah, so we can see that it's uh, the red tissue, yellow tissue is becoming green, is becoming, uh, it's healthier. And that is very important. So if you are exercising, running or doing any, any type of exercise that really gets into the cartilage or sometimes, unfortunately, that can be associated, let's say, with a food allergy or something that even increase the effect, the bioactive collagen peptide is coming to build, to, to give not only the building blocks, because that is another feature of, of, of the bioactive collagen peptides. It's bioactive and also provide the building blocks. Okay. So, so it's a it's a two benefits there because we then we then change the metabolism there to be more of a, a higher synthesis, lower breakdown. But you also, when you do that, you have to give the building blocks. Uh, so in that case, what the Fortigel is doing is really rebuilding the cartilage tissue and preventing this wear and tear. Well, you can see why uh, your company recommends the two get taken together. The two together, yes, because of course tendons and ligaments eventually a part of the joints as well and that works to, together so so uh, this wear and tear is happening in these two tissues however it's all white tissue it's all connective tissue in the body these cells are different mm -hmm. the cells of the tendons and ligaments are different cells from the cartilage so we ha we need different products so the combination of them both you were tackling the whole joint unit I effectively love I love that. At, at, at its best effect if you know what I mean another the point I would like to make about the bioactive collagen peptides in this uh, scenario is if you are exercising, your turnover is much higher, or if you injured yourself, you want to recover quick. All this time invested in training, you want to recover quick. One week is is a that you can speed it up. It's significant, absolutely. Yeah, especially for an athlete. So what we are giving here is is the best bioactive collagen peptide combination that we can get to speed this process. Up. Interesting. Very interesting. Now for the third ingredient and one that I'm excited to be bringing into our brand because um, it is Verisol. It's, it is your beauty collagen. It will be going in at your clinical dose of 2.5 grams per serve. Now I got challenged here at, at work by the team on why are you putting that in, Greg? And I said, well, everybody wants to be fit, happy, healthy and look good. So um, you mentioned earlier about sun and and, and athletes being out and, and, and wear and tear and you, you took the, the very good sport ethical path there. But let's not go there. Let's just 
let's talk about how good people are going to look when they get into this product with Verisol in it. And some of the data that you've got on your website at Jolita, Jolita.com, isn't it? Jolita.com? Yes. In, in relation to Verisol, some of the graphs on the studies you've done, amazing. Yes. It's really a product dedicated, of course, to, to beauty. It's beauty from within. It's looking after the skin. And of course, the main need state there is a is a good skin. Yeah. We have also progressed with the uh, science. So now we have hair, nails. So it's a concept of beauty. <clears throat> but in sport, I would say it's it's very important that uh, we we have cellulite as well. So that links to the body toning, okay. if you like for women okay. too. So we have a, a, a benefit in cellulite. But the skin is a is a very key organ. Yes, I think that the skin you have to look after it because it's your, first of all is your main barrier of defense. Absolutely. Or uh, certain sports will 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 have injury uh, injury let's say if you went cycling and fell off and had the road rash you have yep. to heal that injury but the main aspect for me in terms of health is also that when you sweat when you exercise when you sweat and you are all the time cleaning the sweat and etc you will see that actually you are increasing the turnover of the skin right yes and that means that you are increasing your need for these amino acids mainly they make up the skin and you have to rebuild it. So when you are rebuilding the skin, when you are you, using more of these amino acids because you're sweating you, and you are getting rid of them and you are encouraging to get re- even more rid of them, you are actually losing more of these amino acids okay. that you need to replace. And you have to encourage the skin to rebuild, which you need the, the bioactive effect. Otherwise, you're going to start aging. Absolutely. We can see that many athletes, they age very quickly, not only because of uh, the uh, because they exhibited to the elements, but also because they have this higher skin turnover too. So this is very important to replace because if you don't replace your body, your your skin is your main defense needs to be there. The body will recruit, will get these amino acids from elsewhere. So what happens is you will be pro- probably taking these amino acids from other other vital or important functions in your body, and that could be even the repair okay. of tendons and ligaments. Ligaments, right? Yes. Of the connectivity, so of cartilage. So you might have a general problem. So it's important to look after the skin as well, also from, from that perspective. But of course, <clears throat> of course, that it's all happening without us feeling, without us knowing. So people don't know and that's not then a big need state because simply you cannot know what's happening to you on that front. So the most important thing is when you look at your skin and the skin is good, healthy, that is a sign of health in general, right? That's one of your best indications of health is uh, is the health of the skin, even for the rest of your connective tissue, for your okay. tendons, for your ligaments and etc. So, oh, and of course, makes you look good we all eventually we have we must confess we exercise as well not only for health but because we like to look good feel good so beautiful body beautiful skin and uh, i think that's part of the process too Absolutely. that's part of the feel good effect and feel good with yourself so it's a great combination to add to sports because it's feeling good being healthy and looking good nice before we kick into some of the more research on verisol because i believe everyone out there is um hanging here more the the Utilizing the tender fort with the Verisol, there is some synergy in those two being used together? Yes, absolutely. And the synergy is related to how the connective tissue is organized. The the tenocytes and ligamentocytes, which are the cells for, from tendons and ligaments, they are fibroblasts mm-hmm. type of cells of the connective tissue, which is very much similar. It's the same cell pretty much in terms of receptor for the bioactive collagen peptides than the fibroblasts in the in the skin. Okay. So the fibroblasts are they are the main cells of the connective tissue, and actually we find them in the in the whole body, and they are just the same cells as tendons and ligaments. It's that same type of cell. Yeah. There, there are slight differences, but the differences in terms of how related to the mode of action of the bioactive collagen peptide, technically, there is no difference. So these two tissues are very interconnected. And that's why I mentioned if you're requiring a higher skin turnover, could that can come at the expenses uh, at the expense of the health of your tendons and ligaments. Wow. Because these are very 
very similar cells. And this bioactive collagen peptide reaches the body and uh, it's pushing these this two directions, especially with exercise. So if you have a combination of both, you are pretty, pretty much in, uh, at that amount that you are providing, five grams, two and a half, the right doses, you can be sure that you're not doing one at the compromise of the other. Yeah, no, that's, that's and, and yes, they are highly synergistic. For example, uh, a good example is women and when they start aging. Yep. Yes, we see uh, the, first of all, the wrinkles and the skin is the mirror indication, but especially postmenopausal, you will see that it's not only wrinkles, uh, women start to have like problems with uh, plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendon, yes, and you see how connected that is. It's the main indication of, of the connective tissue. So it's high, high synergy in there. That's, That's really correct. interesting where you've touched on there. Really interesting. So do the two working together work on the cellulite part that you talked about earlier as well, since we're going to talk about females and uh, it's not my area of expertise. So... I'll let you talk. Yes, we with Verisol, we started the studies on Verisol in 2014. Well, before that, I, I, I mean, 2014 was our main publication. So first we did wrinkles, we did the skin elasticity, we did functions of the skin. Then now we have evolved Verisol to hair. So we saw increased hair thickening, Might which is a, a very interesting. <laughs> it's a very important uh, female need, especially again. Again, depends on the sport to do hair uh, women hair suffer if you're yeah. swimming or if you're cycling or if you're running the hair like the skin is exposed to the elements so the hair thickening properties of Verisol they are very important because it makes the hair stronger absolutely so important yes and very important uh, so now we are looking into number of hairs as well I think it's our oh, okay. next uh, thing that we want to find out and in our hair study, we already had an indication that the hair follicles, we get not only like a stronger hair, but we also get more number of follicles. But of course, we saw that in an in vitro preclinical experiment. So it was an indication that went in this study, but we saw something like that as well. And same with the nails. Uh, the nails can suffer. So we, we have a nail study and we have the cellulite study. The cellulite is very powerful study because I think uh, uh, that's... In, that's a really a good need state, especially in exercise, because women are also exercising to tone up and yes. get rid of that tissue, get rid of the cellulite, and that's related to skin and inflammation of the skin. So we have the benefits too. So we have been expanding the very soul benefits much beyond everything related to skin, but much beyond just wrinkles and skin elasticity. That's amazing. That's why I love your brand. I, I truly do. Look, we, we should probably talk for a minute on what collagen doesn't do. do you, have you got anything that it doesn't do? because I think you've pretty well covered everything that every single partner or customer or team that we talk to will be interested in. So what doesn't it do? Because I've even seen on um, yeah, LinkedIn right recently that you guys are even researching in the immune side. So the, the product has an amazing, amazing journey on where collagen is going to go over the next 15, 20 years. Yes, yeah, so we have to think that the, the collagen is related to the connective tissue in the body. And I think uh, one of the main things you learn about collagen when you look into it, it's, it is actually the most abundant protein in the body. 30% of your body protein is collagen. But for me, of course, it goes much beyond that. Uh, it's, it's not only a, in terms of quantity, uh, but it's the key feature for me is that this protein, this tissue, the connective tissue is present in the whole body. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's surrounding muscle, it's supporting organs. Every single organ has got the extracellular matrix collagen. And of course, the the extracellular matrix of, uh, of of an organ, of the skin, it's not only collagen. We are very tied to collagen types, for example, collagen type 1, collagen type 2. But every tissue has got a number of collagens and it's uh, in the whole body and there are many other components together with the collagen and these extracellular matrix. You think that you see the Fortigel, for example, has got 30 years of research and 25 
five years ago, so it's more younger than Fortigel. We came to the concept of functional proteins in the extracellular matrix. So yeah. the extracellular matrix, my major component, structural component is collagen, but there are many other functional components and the knowledge of these components have expanded our knowledge of the extracellular matrix as this site uh, where many metabolic functions occur. Mm -hmm. And one of them uh, is related to uh, immune property, yes, because think that all, all immune cells, not all, mo majority of immune cells like macrophages, especially of the innate immune system, they live in the extracellular matrix. So this tissue has got also an immune function and that might explain why it's in the whole body, wow. why it's related to muscle repair, yeah. yes, because there is some, some, some immune function in this other protein components that work together with collagen. And collagen is important there because think that the extracellular matrix works like a lattice and, and the cells are living in this lattice. So if this changes shape, tears, then you are you are impacting the function of the cells Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And and there's lots of uh, functional components there that are helping the cells of the immune system operate, for example. So great part, we believe, of the mechanism of action of collagen and in supporting the function of this tissue has got an immune component to it. And by that, I mean an innate immune component because the immune system is working all of the time. We are exposed to substances and get rid of old cells for new cells to come. So we are always triggering the immune system one way or another. Wow. So it's lots of things to, to talk about next in the future about collagen. So yes, it's involved in many things because it's present in the whole body. And not only because it's 30% of the body is collagen, yes, but is in the whole body. It's looking after after many tissues, many oh, functions. I love that. Look, before, and it's not only structural. Yeah, exactly. Do you want to talk a little bit about the, I hope I use the white word here, the sustainability program that you have at Jolita in relation to collagen? Yes. One of, the, I think the most exciting thing that I can talk about this program, of course, all the others will be uh, corporate social responsibility standard. But going beyond that, I think which is more exciting for all of us hearing here is that, of course, collagen is an animal protein. Mm -hmm. We can only today get collagen from, from animals. But Jalita, when, just now, really, we had, had made, we have made bi biotechnology possible. So we, we are able, in the very near future, to, we are able to do uh, collagen peptide via precision fermentation, which means that oh, meat-free, wow. that's animal-free. Yeah, so that's in terms of... That's going to make our vegan uh, friends happy? <clears throat> yes. In terms of... Uh, of uh, commitment to that, I think that's the most exciting thing, really, that I can share with you, that it's different from all the other collagen suppliers, because that is very difficult to achieve. So far, um, some companies have managed to, do, to make leather and make other products, but nothing related to nutrition yet. So we are the first of one of the first. But what is exciting about it as well is that we can, of course, when you do something via precision fermentation you you can change as well we even have the potential to make these products surely equal in terms of effectiveness yes. but even better in the future and for many other um, applications so we are very excited about That's the amazing. possibility amazing yeah. amazing well Suzanne I just want to say thank you so much for coming on I think everyone's going to love that if anyone wants to learn more about Jolita G-E-L-I-T-A dot com um, there's some very good papers on on the tender fort, Fortigel and Verisol up there that I, I believe everybody should read before they consume a product because I, I, I just think it tells the story. And I want to congratulate you on what you and the team have done and working with us. We've really appreciated it. Yes. Uh, and I also would like to congratulate you guys and say how exciting is your new product. I love the combination. I think it's a very functional combination. You are touching on the main benefits of collagen amongst all everything that it can be done. Exciting brand, 
exciting product. We love working with you guys. And uh, yeah, uh, there will be lots of other things for us to, to talk in the future. So we will follow up for sure. Julita is full steam. Yeah, we that. also have a blog in our website where we are constantly kind of uh, talking about, especially the new athletes that we follow. Okay. Because we, we do lots of, uh, of course, we do the standard clinical trials and so on. But we also do a lot of work in the field with athletes. Uh, and we put these reports in our in our blog uh, lots of uh, success stories there as well using these products awesome so these products jolita.com jump on the blogs check out the latest updates download verisol fortigel and tender for data sheets they are worth reading and i just want to once again i know i said a second ago but thank you for coming on board i know you've had to get up early this morning thank to talk you. to us and we appreciate no it no problem <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank it's you. always nice to talk to you guys thanks right. a lot awesome